What's up guys? Uh, today we are going to be replacing the canvas on my 1971 Volkswagen bus Westphalia. I figured I'd make this video short, short one for you um, just because I couldn't find a really great video on it online. Um, so here we go. Here's the top. I have it on two trash cans, but we're going to flip this over and uh, take a look. All right, so here's what we got. As you can see, it's a little dirty back here, um, but I'll clean it in a little bit. So I had cut the top because it was already ripped. This thing's destroyed, been eaten by mice on multiple occasions and super disgusting. So I got a new one from Bus Depot. I'll show you in a little bit, but here's the main points that you should see with the top still on. So what we got going on here is we have the top, we have a tack strip, and then we have these straps or tie downs, whatever they are. Um, so you have your top that goes down first. You can see that's stapled in place here. Um, the tack strip goes over that and that's stapled to the wood as well. Gives it a little more rigidity so it doesn't tear. Um, and the only other thing you gotta worry about is these which are held on with two Phillips head screws and you gotta pull this little cotter pin, pull that out and uh, then you can unscrew everything. There's one there, one there, and then on the other side is the wall right there. And I believe that's it. Um, so I'm just gonna be using a hand stapler. You can use you know, any heavy duty staples. There's also this fringe here um, that I believe, yeah. So that's stapled on as well. I have a new one of those. Some people run without it. I like the look. Um, one of the things you're gonna wanna make sure is that your wood is still secure. Sometimes these can either rot out or can become loose in there. Um, you can see here, this piece is uh, pretty gnarly um, and that's for the hinge. So I might need to look at um, touching that one up. You got your hinges here for the front and your rears attached back there. Um, but other than that, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna time-lapse this, take off the top and I'll catch you um, once it's all apart. All right, well, here's the deal. Bit of bad news for me. I got some rot over there. I unbolted this bracket and found out that that whole block that's supposed to be there was rotted. It just crumbled. And then that piece is also got a hole in it. So I'm gonna have to cut this out, replace it, put in a new block here. Um, I'll film it just in case you have to do the same thing. Anyways, I'll catch you tomorrow when I'm working on that wood. Well, it's the next day or a couple days later. I'm gonna use this, um, what is this called? Oscillating tool, multifunction tool, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna cut out this wood. Um, you can see it's got a hole behind it because um, that was rotted out. I'm gonna cut this out, replace it with some new wood, and I'm gonna use some fiberglass filler, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, lop this out. All right, so here's what we got. Um, they both have angles on them. That angle follows that curve. And this has an angle for the side and a step for that piece of fiberglass. Um, I don't know if they're all like this. Um, by the way, I still have to clean this up. Make sure that the fiberglass resin is gonna adhere to it. Uh, speaking of which, let me show you what I got for that. I actually got um, it's this tub and tile repair kit. This was from Amazon, I think it was like 15, 20 bucks but it's essentially a fiberglass resin um, and it's very similar to what's on here, almost like a glue. We'll see how it works. Um, it seemed like the closest thing to what's on here that I could find. Um, although when I was cutting this, it sounded like, or it smelled like Bondo. Um, so maybe that's what it really is. But either way, we're gonna try this stuff out and see how it goes. I can always sand it off um, if I have to. So stay tuned. <laughs> Right 
This is a top view. Side view. And then there's a hole on the bottom side that goes through. That's what this attaches to. I'll drill that hole once this is dry. All right, well, it's a new day and here's what happened. So essentially, it all worked out. It dried nicely. I put a little over here as well. You can see, hardened up nicely. It's essentially just fiberglass. Um, I'd probably go ahead and just use fiberglass reinforced body filler because it's less expensive and probably dries with a similar, more similar finish than to the original, than this stuff. But anyway, what I did, you see I fired two screws here and then I uh, countersunk and drilled one screw there and one screw in on the other side as well. Just to add a little more support, um, put less stress on that fiberglass and less stress on the uh, repair work that I did. So, but it's all back together now. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then I'll get to putting on the new top. The top is all clean, so now I'm gonna grab the canvas, I'm gonna lay that in place and staple it to the wood. All right, the top is stapled, just the top, I haven't done the tag strip yet. Uh, you can see I did them, probably spaced them about three inches apart. And then in the corners, I kind of just did several close together. Um, so that there wouldn't ever be too much stress on the corner. The pamphlet, it says to mark your centers with chalk um, and then line them up with your bus. Um, I didn't do that. I started on the corners because there's seams and just went from there um, and turned out fine. So uh, I'm gonna assume that it's good until I'm proven otherwise. So that's how it goes. But now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the tack strip, um, which comes in a roll. Um, the old one was cut into strips, so I'm probably just gonna mark it out using the old one and cut it to the length, so. All right, first side of the tack strip is on. A couple inches apart, fairly evenly. Looks like I need one here at the beginning, but, and then bunch them up in the corner. I'll probably throw one or two more there. That's what they did from factory, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Seems to be going on good. Um, it's kind of nerve wracking because if you do this too tight or too loose, then it's not gonna fit lengthwise. So you just kind of have to do all of it and then find out if you're screwed or not. Um, so I'm doing my best, I'm doing it as tight as possible, but um, we'll see how it turns out. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> all right, so all the tack strips are on. Um, they came out pretty good. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot to it. So now we're going to go ahead and flip the top because I got to paint it and I'll catch you in the next day or so when I get to put this on the bus and I can actually attach it to the roof. So see you then. All right. It's the next day. Um, I flipped over the top and painted it. It's all dry now. It came out pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on the pop top seal. Um, there's two different seals. There's one that goes around the perimeter of the top, seals it to the roof. So you don't get water in there. And then there's another one that goes on the back edge and it lays over the luggage rack. It's tougher than it looks. All right, I'm gonna time lapse this. All finished up. Um, just put it in the rear section here. So what I did is I lined this up and I put this on. And then as I rolled this over, I finished here and then cut that to length. So should be good to go. Well, as you can tell, put it back on. And I didn't film this because I was kind of figuring it out myself. Um, so I would have just kept on making retakes because I changed my mind on how I wanted to do it. But let me show you and explain to you the best way that I found um, to install the canvas. So let me preface this with this job is extremely tedious. Um, 
it's hard to do with one person. If I had had another person, it would have made it a lot easier. Um, but if you're doing it alone, this is how I did it and how I would suggest you do it. You'll probably make adjustments here and there. I began by laying the roof onto the top of the bus. Didn't bolt anything down. I still had the canvas taped up on the inside so it wasn't hanging down. Then what I did is I used this little hinge in the front of the bus. I hooked the front of the top on that and I used a two by four on the back of the top to hold it up. Now, once I did that, I took these hinges and I just screwed in one of these bolts. That way it was lined up as it should be, um, at least roughly. Then I went on the inside and these uprights have two bolts down here or self-tapping screws and then one bolt up there and that bolt goes through the piece of wood on the top and you're going to have to drill that out because you put a new tack strip assuming you put a new tack strip has to go through the tack strip and through the the canvas so drill that hole fire that um, machine screw through and then you're going to want a bolt i did one screw here so i can lift it up put it on bolt it You'll figure it out, um, but it's just a little bit of a process there. And all this I did while I still had only two bolts up there. Um, so once that was together, the top was self-supporting, and then I could begin putting the canvas together. The canvas has these four aluminum tracks, two of which do the sides, including the corners, and then the other two do the front and back, and they're just small, small short pieces. So I started with the short piece, but I would suggest you start with the corners because those are the trickiest parts. It is extremely tight over there. Um, so you're gonna wanna start there. That's what I would suggest anyway. And really you just get one in, one screw in through, and then you just work your way down. Sometimes I would start on one end, screw one in, and then screw the other side in if I could um, to try to get it to line up so that I could work my way. And I use this little rib on the edge of that plastic piece as a guide. Then from there, it's just gonna be about a matter of time. I mean, it took me four hours. I was using a screw gun, um, but I've never done it before. And my, like I said, my canvas is super tight. Maybe yours won't be as tight. Um, hope it isn't because it sucked. So if you're doing it by hand without a screw gun, it's gonna take way longer, I'll tell you that. I ended up unbolting these hinges here because then I could get some more slack um, so that I could get the track on on the inside but you might not have to do that so and once I finished everything I had to bolt these back in lined them all up and now it's finished it came out really nice it's nice and taut against the roof I like how you don't see the tack strip at all you see it's a little lifted here but nothing too crazy. I can live with that. Uh, I haven't put the fringe on in the top there because I think I'm going to want to touch up some of that paint up there because I didn't realize how visible it was and it's uh, a little dirty. So anyway, that's basically it. Um, it really looks good, uh, but I do wish they made it a little looser. Um, I understand that Westphalia made it tight for a reason, but like it's really hard to do. Um, Especially, I, I can't imagine if trying to do this without taking the top off, having to staple everything. Good luck getting it, um, getting it where you want it. So anyway, that's how I would suggest doing it. Let me know if you have any um, suggestions in the comments, and I'll catch you next time.